Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Let's continue the list of the best arguments I've ever heard for atheism with argument 9, the argument of virtual particles. This one is a largely scientific argument rather than a logical proof, so we'll be discussing some pretty heady science for a little while. Quantum mechanics is a field of scientific study dealing with subatomic particles and how they react to each other. We know certain subatomic particles exist and that they do interact with each other, and we've even been able to calculate a great many things about the subatomic world using mathematics. These computations are what all of quantum mechanics is based on. Quantum mechanics itself, however, is a form of scientific theory which seeks to explain the calculations and findings collected so far in the subatomic world. Among the numerous concepts created through quantum mechanics is the virtual particle, a particle which comes into existence in the quantum vacuum, an area in which there are no physical particles with any real mass. In this area, virtual particles appear and disappear. Modern quantum theory describes the vacuum as containing massless forms which form mass when they move in a certain way and configuration. Now, because mass can come into existence and cease to exist in virtual particles, this proves that things can come from nothing, and therefore that the whole universe could have come from nothing, right? Well, no. It doesn't prove that at all. Claiming that the universe can come into being from nothing requires proving that something can come from nothing. At best, virtual particles prove that something with mass can come from something without mass, but this doesn't prove that something can come from nothing. You see, when we talk about nothing in terms of what kinds of things existed before the universe, we're not talking about just a lack of mass, or just a lack of matter, or just a lack of energy, or even just a lack of motion. We're talking about there not being anything there. Virtual particles didn't come from nothing. They come from the quantum void, a sea of fluctuating energy, which still definitely exists, and is therefore something, even though it lacks mass. Think about it. How can fluctuations exist in the quantum void if they can't pass through time? How can they exist without passing through space? Most importantly, how can there even be fluctuations without something to fluctuate? Actual nothingness doesn't fluctuate. It doesn't have any properties or abilities, and its only distinguishing characteristic is that it doesn't exist. So you can't claim that the quantum void is nothingness. You can't claim that it could come from actual nothingness, and therefore you can't claim that virtual particles prove that something comes from nothing. However, even if you could, it still wouldn't prove that God doesn't exist. The most it would do would be to provide a possible, though still very unlikely, explanation of how the universe could exist without requiring a creator. It just doesn't do that, though. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.